Welcome to the Bearded God of Drums, Happy KO. Um, today we're going to be doing a Nord Stage 3 tutorial video, the second so far in this series. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make polyphonic glide on the Nord Stage 3. And don't run away because you're probably thinking to yourself, this, the Nord Stage 3 doesn't have polyphonic glide. That's one of the downsides of it. It does though. And I'm going to show you how. So up until now, um, from what I've found on Google, no one has come up with a good way to do polyphonic glide on the Nord without having to go buy a, a separate fancy pedal or piece of gear or having to record a sample of a chord and then play the sample with glide, which is really limited. Um, but I'm going to show you in this video how you can actually make polyphonic glide on the Nord with a little bit of layering on panel A and panel B and a little bit of detuning on the synth section. So we're going to start with an empty, empty program uh, right here. Empty program. We're going to turn on the synthesizer and I'm going to use a triangle wave just to demonstrate this. See that there? It's a triangle wave. Okay. Now we're going to do turn on oscillator 2 as well. Hold down shift and, and turn this. And we're going to make this also a triangle wave. But you can also detune this. Right now it's playing a C as well, but I can make it play a C sharp. So this one's playing a C and this one's playing a C sharp now because it's off one semitone. Now it's playing D, C and D. So just by playing C, I'm playing C and D. And if I go here, that's three semitones off, so now it's playing C and D sharp, now it's playing C and E. So now you have a third, you have a, chord, you have a small chord basically, it's as, as if I was doing this. So it's... I'm gonna go ahead and do seven semitones, so now it's playing a fifth chord, a C and a G. Okay, so that's panel A. I can't do anymore. <laughs> now we have to split the keyboard because what I'm essentially going to do is have panel A and panel B playing separate things so that I'm making full four note chords. So I'm going to hold down shift and do split and I'm going to do just the middle one. So this will split right here down the keyboard but I don't want it to split there. I want to actually hold this down and then roll this over to this one. I want it to split right here. And I'll show you why, it'll just make it easier. So just do this. Split right here. Okay, you're done with that. Panel A, hold down shift, and it's only gonna play this half. So if I move up, once I get to here, it's gonna be silent. That's what you want. So this half of the keyboard is doing a fifth. Now we're going to copy this, copy panel A. So hold down copy and hold down panel A. So it copied it. And then we're going to shift paste. We're going to paste copy A to panel B as well. And oh, you have to select paste here. There we go. So now panel A and panel B are the exact same. They're doing the exact same thing. We're going to go to panel B and shift this to play the right side. Now, only panel B plays once I get past that little that little light. But it's silent on this half. So A is playing this half, B is playing this half. And B is also doing the um, fifth, basically. So C and G, panel A, C and G. We're gonna put these as if I were to play like this. We're gonna put that and put it right here in this octave. So panel A, keep keep showing this though. So panel A, right here, we're gonna move this octave one up, so it's right here. If I play down here, it's actually playing this octave. Does that make sense? And then panel B, we're gonna move this so that when I play here, it's gonna play down on this octave. So shift that to a negative one. Turn panel A and panel B on together. So they're both playing on the same octave now. All you have to do now, now that we have them both playing fifths, is 
this hand play the one, and this plant hand play the three. You have a four. You have a four note chord now. And you can do this with any first and third. So you can go. Now all you have to do is turn on glide on both sides. Do the same thing on panel B. And now you can do legato polyphonic glide by doing uh, playing the first and the thirds. Okay, so now you can hold down your sustain pedal and move up and do some pretty cool chord shifts. And the reason I split it here is so that you can have some fun doing full octave glides if you want. You can go. So you have to think a little bit when you're playing this way, and it's probably only going to be good for like a recording or something, but if there's a sound you wanted on the Nord Stage 3 specifically that you wanted to turn into a polyphonic glide, you can do this and then, you know, plan out how you're going to play it, so the first and the third, and then record, you know, the glides that you want for your song, and uh, this is a way to make that happen with the Stage 3. So I hope you, I hope you learned something new. And I hope the Nord community finally gives Happy KO the credit it deserves for coming up with these genius solutions and workarounds to the flaws of the Nord Stage 3. So we would much appreciate uh, a like and subscribe and maybe a donation.